Oh my gosh. I read this book and I literally just finished it, but I knew you guys would expect a book review soon. And there is so much to talk about. Major spoiler territory. <clears throat> out of five stars, I would give this almost, almost just about a solid five. I would give this a five, I mean, a four point, I don't know, 4.9 maybe. Like, it's that good. This book, I don't know, you learn so much just reading this. And it's... Oh my gosh, you learn so much more about Sundu and being a hive wing. The secrets Queen Wasp has is, like, limitless. And you learn so much more. And I'm just, like, awestruck with this. I mean... I never, I never thought the book would end up this good. Okay. One thing, this is spoilers, so if you want to go, you can, you, if you don't like spoilers, leave now. Um, okay, so, Cricket's mother is obviously Caddy did. I think you guys have figured that out already. Her mother's Cadell, her father is Malachite, Malachite, I think, I can't remember. Um, Queen Wasp has been poisoning the, the, um, uh, Hive Wings Mines, and she can when she is, like, she could poison Hive Wings if she eats this certain type of plant, and then they would be under her mind control, under her mind, they want to be free. And there was also some adorable comedy in here, there was this egg that Cricket saved and she named the egg Bumblebee but the way she hatched Bumblebee was so cute and I think Bumblebee likes Sundu and that just made me want to cry. I was like oh my gosh and like Sundu in the end helped a hive wing guard and I was like what? And maybe we could save the hive wings and everyone. We just need to stop the leaf wings first and spread the word at the hive wings. Cricket tried to do that and she got captured but got freed by Lady Jewel and Lady Scarab. Lady Scarab knew everything about Cricket's history, her mom. Lady Scarab is also Queen Wasp's aunt, aunt, however you say that. I say aunt. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, this is a short video but there isn't much more to say. Like, there was a water tower that they hid in they went all the way to Jewel Hive. Jewel Hive is very decorative. I love Jewel Hive. Probably my favorite so far. Um, I still don't understand why Cadell hates Cricket so much. Like, I know she'd get put in jail if it was revealed that her granddaughter Cricket was immune to Queen Ross mind control. And it's all because of a plant and it was right there in front of their eyes. And it's like Bloodborne Hive got like got attacked, I think by, um, I, I don't know, Hemrock and Belladonna, I think that's how you pronounce their names, Sunday's parents, they're mentioned, they should have appeared in this, if they did, then they would bring this book in a different, um, path, but in the end, <clears throat> they know that they have to go to Sunday's parents, but Sunday's parents are going back to the poison jungle, now, it's going to be on Sunday's point of view and where we head on to the poison jungle. And man, I want to read that book so bad right now. You have no idea. Like this, this book was ridiculously crazy. Uh, it was, it was better than the lost continent. It was that good. And you find so much in the end here, having dragon's minds free. And it may be the shortest book in this series so far, but it's definitely, definitely one of the better ones. I would say it's better than The Hidden Kingdom. And The Hidden Kingdom was really big for a lot of people. The Lost Content was pretty good too with how unique the world was. But so many more questions were answered here. And it was just a book splayed out before us. And there's so much more I have to say about this. I mean, I don't know what, but it's just like something's there. And it just feels like we have this connection with Cricket all along. 
and that Queen Wasp is actually more vulnerable than we realize. There's just so much going on, and I'm, I, 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 I have to, I want to see Tweet Tweet Sutherland again and see how this goes. It says 2019 here. It comes out 2018. It says here for Wendy and Fiona, a pair of kind and funny bookworms with dragon hearts, cricket, and the bears and I all think you are kind hearts, kind of spirits. That's sweet. So then there's the book with the map, Guide to the Dragons, like the hive wings. And I actually thought I would have a good hive wing um, OC named Honeycomb. I thought that would be pretty cute. Um, or a male, I might want a male hive wing, OC. Silk wings are still there. Leaf wings. I think Queen Sequoia is alive, guys. I want to know what you guys think. Maybe it's revealed. Like, she wasn't mentioned in this book. She was in the beginning of the Lost Continent, but I want to know more. And then there's the prophecy. So, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. This was major spoilers. I, this book was huge, a huge hit for me. I wonder if the Poison Jungle is going to be any better. But comment, like, and subscribe, guys. I'll see you later.